This is your evening KRQE.com webcast. Let's go first to John Smith with the weather. Well, we are looking for our next storm to approach New Mexico. Out ahead of it, we will be looking for breezy conditions tomorrow along eastern and central parts of New Mexico. But otherwise, it's going to be a fairly nice day with mild conditions once again, mostly sunny skies for much of the state. But we will see more cloud cover over the north as that next storm system approaches, first bringing snow for the four corners very early in the day tomorrow, and then for the northern mountains and northeast throughout the morning hours and afternoon hours tomorrow. And then, as we see any of this light snow, it will be light in nature. So if you pick up an inch or two, you're doing very good with this storm. The bigger story will be the cooler air that will come in for the weekend, but really only the cool air will be here for Saturday. We'll start to rebound the temperatures by Sunday and into the middle of next week. An Albuquerque firefighter is among 15 people arrested today in a federal drug bust involving massive amounts of drugs and cash. The firefighter, identified as Steve Chavez and the others, faced charges of distributing cocaine, marijuana, and meth. The Fed seized bank accounts and raided several properties today. The operation included millions of dollars of cash and drugs. An independent audit shows that abuse of state cars at the Public Regulation Commission goes far beyond former Commissioner Jerome Block, Jr. It found Chairman Pat Lyons repeatedly drove a government truck for personal use without authorization. The audit also says PRC employees have made $28,000 worth of prohibited gas purchases using PRC cards since 2009. It goes on to say two commissioners and top employees took state vehicles out of state on trips, which violates regulations. State Auditor Hector Balderas commissioned that audit. He says Lyons should resign. Lyons says Balderas has bloated the findings to help his U.S. Senate campaign and that Balderas should resign. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.